Okay, today we're going to show you how to remove the rubber from vintage stroller wheels so that you can run them in the dishwasher or the clothes washing machine. We actually find that the dishwasher is a little bit more powerful. Uh, and in order to remove the dirt and so on from the rubber uh, and give it a nice clean white finish again. Uh, what you'll find is that the areas where the small pebbles and so on have affixed themselves inside the rubber uh, will still leave holes but um, you will get a much nicer effect on the tires themselves if you go ahead and wash them. So we're going to need to remove them from the metal rims. I'm gonna be using a pair of spoons. Uh, you could use flathead screwdrivers as well. What I like about uh, something like a spoon is it's metal, but at the same time, it's kind of smoothed down along the end if you have something with a little bit of an arch. So you have less chance of digging all kinds of holes in the rubber, as well as um, damaging the rims as you take it off. You just wanna lift up the rubber on one side and stick that long flat tool, whatever you're using, through and pull down. Just leave it there in one place and we'll move on a little bit and do it again. We can move both down at the same time. And you're just trying to pry this rubber from the side. Once you kind of get a bit of a foothold, you can just push it down and pull it off like this. So now I'm gonna remove the others and then we'll show you how to uh, put them into the washing machine. Okay, you just want to put the tires then in your dishwasher and you want to run it on the hottest possible cycle for as long as possible. Uh, in addition to a soap as you would normally use, uh, you can put a dash of vinegar into the machine as vinegar, vinegar has somewhat of a whitening effect. Uh, I would not recommend putting chlorine in your dishwasher, of course. Uh, okay, we're gonna run the machine and we'll show you the effects when we take it out. Okay, we've now uh, finished washing these in the dishwasher. And as you can see, they've gotten a lot cleaner, a lot whiter. Um, they're not perfect, but uh, they're good enough to now show how to replace them onto the wheels. Uh, I wanted to say that you can also, of course, as I said before, use a washing machine. The advantage to a washing machine is you can uh, add some bleach as a whitening agent, uh, while the advantage to the dishwasher is kind of a coarser, uh, harder soap, I find anyway. Um, in addition, uh, you can of course buy tire paints if that's something that you want, if you want to get like a really perfect look. And uh, when it comes to the outside, when you wash it, as I said before, a lot of the stones will fall out and leave holes. Um, if it is very, very damaged and uh, you think it will compromise the uh, longevity of the wheel, there are rubber epoxies that you can get and you can paint over and fill up those holes with. Uh, in any case, we're going to now put them back onto the rims. Uh, if the rims look shinier, it's because they've been de-rusted, and that's a related video in this kind of short series on vintage solar renovation. You can check out if you want. When you're putting it back on, you just want to fit the rim into this inner uh, raised area of the tire, and then work your way around, and it's a bit hard. So, here we go. really just a matter of elbow grease pulling it over that that lip
So we got one of them on. Um, we were not able to get catch it on camera because I needed my cameraman to help me put it on. It being so tight and hard to pull. Uh, I'm going to try this one again, but most likely my cameraman will have to help me with all of them. Um, at one point though, as you're pulling it on, it's possible that the rubber will get twisted backwards and then you just kind of pry from the other side in order to twist it again properly. So the important part is to stretch it all the way around the rim for starters, uh, even if it's twisted wrong, and then you can pry it back in place. So um, in any case, we hope that this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask that you uh, subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.